Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Chaos Rain here once again. I am here showing you my, uh, a lot of effect type <laughs> raider. Now, I have made some changes and kind of fixed up my resistances a little bit. They aren't perfect, but I am kind of getting to that. And I am uh, a little bit, a little bit below one step away from being just kind of done with, with the build and being able to take it as far as I want to take it now without uh, you know without further ado I'm gonna get into it first things first I will say that I have um, drastically changed my tree from what it was and um, reconfigured things a little bit around I have I am trying um, as per request I am trying the bloodthirst support gem currently it is only level 7 now, I don't know exactly how this works, but I was told that it helps with Doom Fletch Prism and everything like that. If, uh, if anyone in description wants to tell me how exactly it works, I'd be glad to, you know, do more research on it and so on and so forth. Now, the only um, real valuable mod on this armor is the 18 R res and the 3% movement speed. The life obviously is great, but in my opinion you can actually completely ignore the crit completely ignore the region because you're, you're not going to regen fast enough uh and the apply additional curse is absolutely useless i only apply one curse and then the socket at minus 15 is just for the barrage setup and i don't have any issues because of my mana leech i am um i am still using the herald of thunder i am using precision and haste still so i can run around really quick as you see this is my natural in hideout movement speed i go real quick on top of this, we are still using the Shackles of the Wretched, and instead of normal, we are reserving half of our life via Arrogant Support. Um, just so we can, even though it doesn't give us any aura effect, it still reserves our life for us and makes it so we are on low life. With Blood Rage on top of it, we're, we're just basically going to be going down, going up. We have Petrified Blood for the whole uh, damage mitigation kind of setup. Now what I'm thinking what I'm thinking is um, what I might do instead of this armor is maybe a Kintsugi and uh, just so I have a lot of fire res and armor and then I have a lot of evasion and defenses off of that. I do have one I will I can play test that and fix my reses a little more later but as it sits I am kind of comfortable of where things are and uh, this is this is the change skill tree that I have done. Now I have started my pathing going up this way and I did that on purpose because I am actually relying heavily on using the split personalities here and here. Dex strength and dex int. And then I have changed my crit cluster for a, uh, for a uh, what do you call it, non imaging ailment cluster. Now if uh, you do the math I with all of these nodes and everything like that plus the nodes here then I have more nodes up here I have exactly 200 I think 208 percent or 218 or something like that percent increased effect of my non-damaging elements via um, via my two-tone boots here the, these two-tone boots were uh, the ones I had on my old self chill I just threw them on and obviously I'm not moving at the 45 movement speed I was before with just the boots but I am moving really quick without self chill active and without it, without uh, berserk or anything else like that active. There is uh, my six link is still my six link single target barrage setup with uh, barrage support ice shot. I'm trying to figure out how to scale the damage on this high enough to where I can just start pushing uh, the tornado shot single target as well. But I don't know how to do that just yet. We'll we'll get to that as we get to it. Um, we have the same setup in the helmet with Blood Rage, Berserk, Sniper's Mark, Hydrosphere. And because I did spec all the way around and all the way down like this, like this, I actually managed to get a lot more int and a lot more uh, strength via these two, which let me unspec these two nodes. I untook all of these nodes to save me some, some uh, points. I instead of the uh, three nodes where that inspired learning area was I only expect this my reses are a little bit better there are 71 61 71 I can get res cap really easily right now I'm just uh, 
this is just kind of showing you the build update for it. I have taken these three nodes for a couple of reasons. First and foremost, they all give attack speed, and you know, if I'm attack if I'm attacking really fast, I'm able to uh, apply more tornado shots and, and all that other stuff. My gym links have changed. I am now using hypothermia, but I don't know if I, this is my final links. I don't actually know what I'm supposed to be putting in the links for tornado shot, as I haven't really built a uh, full maxed out tornado shot build yet. Excuse me. I am doing uh, LE damage with attacks, bloodthirst, trinity, and GMP, just so I have more attack speed and, pro and uh, projectile damage, and you know more projectiles for, for my clear since I am a raider. I am still. I already said that I'm using these. I haven't changed the quiver yet. I don't see a need for it anymore but as it sits I just haven't done it um, if I change to a quiver I'd probably change to a rare quiver with reses and maybe a little bit of damage on the top end I don't really need the voice shot so you don't do anything for me and then last but not least my amulet is just a random amulet I crafted a couple of leagues ago before harvest was even a thing uh, the reservation does literally nothing for me. It actually kind of hurts me because I am technically not under low life at this very second. I think I am a few points, but that's what Blood Rage is there for. Once Blood Rage procs, I immediately go on low life, and I believe that's how this one works. And what else? Other than that, it's just a standard, uh, you know, tornado shot build, but self chill self curses and has infinite berserk so without further ado let's go ahead and pick up a couple of maps and uh, run them real quick now I did strand last time let me see uh, it looks like I didn't proc my conquer that's good let me see let's go castle ruin all right castle ruins and this is a good one because I've been running these in chain just so I can get a lot of the uh, what do you call it a lot of the heist stuff heist markers and, and contracts for a friend of mine he's looking for certain ones for his leveling so uh actually i'm not gonna do the strand because i don't know what what that <laughs> has on it so let's go down we're gonna pick up the heist node right here and if you want more information on my heist farming you're more than welcome to check it out uh on my channel I know there's more people that have been interested in my channel and I welcome you and I hope that you know you share information and I hope my information helps you. I am fully aware that you know in my in some of my videos I do claim claim things I've heard or I've been you know been I've read or something like that but I understand that that's not exactly how things work. It is what it is. Now if you can't tell, I don't have any form of explosion, and a, my uh, sustain is kind of weird. I don't understand exactly how this, uh, this gym works. I understand that, I do understand that there is a way I can set this up to where I can use life tap, and life tap gives me more cooldown so recovery. You are the exile. I will oh, well, the I died. And when I figure out how to do this, I will more than gladly be able to, uh, you know, use all of these different gyms in tandem with whatever I'm currently running. Another thing I was thinking about doing is running a level 20 precision. And with the level 20 precision, using my... Uh, my life tap support or whatever it is and as you see this is my movement speed as soon as berserk procs obviously my movement speed isn't the only thing that's crazy my attack speed and well everything that's related to speed is just insane oh I died again as I said I am t <laughs> completely unsure how to scale this uh, life tap and all this other stuff. I think 
in the end result of my build, I might just forego this altogether. I think from what I read, the person in my comments said that you have to run like bite, bite rings or the percent life rings with more life and all that other stuff. And as much as I want to do that, I really, this, the point of this build is to kind of incorporate everything that I have incorporated without worrying about uh, too much else. On top of which, I don't really see a big dip in the damage. Like, I, I could be wrong, but it doesn't feel like there's a huge dip in damage. And I definitely don't feel like I am... I'm really, uh, you know... Let me just... There we go. I'm so used to having my dash. Oh, oh there. We died again. As you see, I don't know how this uh, mechanic works, but I am running really quickly now. I have more resistances. I, I, it's all around just, it feels a little smoother and I am kind of happy that it does feel smoother, but I am completely spaced out on what the heck I have to do from here. So when I figure that out, I will be glad to post a uh, updated video. I don't, I'm thinking that if I really need the life, what I will do is I will start crafting a hunter, uh, hunter quiver, a uh, shaper quiver, just to try and get the plus one arrow, and then do, I believe it's a suffix, or, oh shit, am I gonna die? Okay, see this is what I don't understand. How my life goes up and down like it does. I don't get um, why my life is going down, so it's it's not something I'm aware of. See, in, when I read it, I, I don't know if it's because I deal damage equal to my life or whatever that is, but let's say just for, for now, I'm going to take this out because I, I just don't get how this works and how to make it work right. I might look up a video or two and study on how it works, but as it sits, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm being fully honest. So let's go ahead and grab inspiration out just because inspiration gives crit charges and makes the tornado shot cost less. There we go. Cool. Now, <coughs> obviously, as you see, this was a four portal, five portal castle ruins that was white. And this is basically what I mean by I don't know how these work. This gym works. I don't know if I need life tap to make it, you know, valuable to me or if it's just because I'm not understanding something. All right, see right there, I didn't I didn't really see how I died. However, I do I will note that on my on my other ice shot character that that attack normally one shots me. So the fact that it didn't one shot me means that I'm doing something right. What what I'm doing right, I don't know. <laughs> I don't I don't fully comprehend yet just how uh how to you know work this build or anything. Let's try a ritual into my last portal just because I want to see how that plays out.
All right, looks like everything's uh, going the way I wanted it to. So, <clears throat> there's something uh, something I will tell you that the way this mechanic, this mechanic interaction and everything like that in conjunction with each other works is a little bit, you know, on the wonky side, but it does work, especially if you, uh, if you, oop, you gotta be careful, especially if you, you know, kind of know how to time your, your abilities. And that's the boss. I'm so used to dash. I'm trying to dash and I can't because I don't have dash spec in or anything. Another thing I will note is I still don't seem to be equally applying all three elements and I'm unsure why that is. I don't know how how come it's uh, doing that, whether it's because the lightning rolls are so low it's not doing enough. I do feel like when I had the other support in I was applying these, but I, like I said, I'm, I'm totally oblivious on how the other gym works at this moment. So I'm not going to try and assume anything. Alright, looks like we got the chain to go. We got to basically do speedy speedy things, so that was fun. Uh, we'll take that. We'll take amber oil. It's kind of meh. Uh, we'll take that. And that. Alright, cool. Alright, so without further ado, let's get into explanations on how I do my uh, setup. First things first. So, it starts with, <coughs> excuse me, it starts with applying poison. As you know with Tornado Shot, the more projectiles you have, the easier it is to apply poison. Now, the easier it is to apply poison doesn't, you know, Easier it is to apply poison doesn't necessarily guarantee you applying it, but if even with the 25% I had on it, it was it felt like I wasn't applying that much. You only need one poison stack to be reflected to yourself to successfully chill yourself and the enemy. And you only need one um, poison stack to um, to basically start this whole combo off. So, this is the way it works. What we have here is our arrogance support. Th this is honestly the, arro the arrogance is just whatever. I'm probably gonna if I until I figure it out. I'm probably gonna drop arrogance and re you know rescale this and put something else in. But basically, what we do here is we do herald of thunder, hex touch, and temporal chains. Now the level of temporal chains does not matter. I'm this is just what I have in my stash obviously I'm in standard so it's just whatever I'm only using level 4 Herald of Thunder and here's why here's why I basically am um, Herald of Thunder is going to hit enemies that are shocked now how do I shock enemies well it's the same thing it's the same way you shock enemies on your self chill first you apply the chill by applying a poison the poison is then reflected to yourself and you are chilling yourself. After you are chilled, you are then applying. Um, you, are th you are then applying. What do you call it? Sh after you're chilling yourself, and and of course any enemies, you are then applying shock to enemies via the cold conduction node. So the cold conduction node says enemies who are chilled by our, my hits are shocked. Enemies that are shocked by my hits are chilled. So on top of this, there is a there's a little there's a little weird thing here. So I don't necessarily um, I don't necessarily hit enemies to chill them because I'm running tornado shot. I'm not running ice shot. And since since technically I'm hitting them with poison, and then as they're poison, they're becoming chilled. I'm not applying the uh, what do you call it? I'm not applying the, the, I believe, this to myself, if I'm not mistaken. 
I don't, I don't know how that works. Anyway, uh, for some reason, I don't have shock on me whenever I'm running on the map, yet I have the other thing. Uh, that being said, there is a little bit of a caveat. On top of being able to reverse the chill and having enough chill effect to have, you know, insane action speed increases, we also have... Excuse me. We also have... Um, we also have the Berserk setup. And how the Berserk setup is with this... So, Chains of Emancipation says, enemies, enemies, um, enemy hits inflict temporal chains on me. So if they hit me, I get temporal chains on me. Now, I don't want enemies to hit me. That doesn't sound like a good idea when I'm a ranger. So instead of, you know, letting them hit me, I am applying the temporal chains to myself via the Shackles of the Wretched. And on top of applying the temporal chains to myself, I am also I also have a setup to remove the Deporo chains and the way I remove it is with this flask ideally you want a instant recovery flask that isn't like this one this one's when you're low life which is you know for this setup I like it 100% increased recovery while I'm low life is pretty good because I'm always low life right but other than that it's kind of a it's, it's kind of a weird thing. Now the reason why we want this is because we want to be immune to curses and remove curses on use. Now whenever we remove the curse, we immediately get 50 rage. Now when I lose temporal chains, I get 50 rage, it says. On top of getting the 50 rage, I become fully immune to any incoming curses while I have at least 25. Now while I have rage, on top of getting the initial attack, speed, attack damage, everything like that, I also have a Berserk in my helmet, which is auto-cast by Asenath's Chant. Since I am attacking very fast, it's just going to cycle through these over and over and over again until I get to the one I want. Now, what I might end up doing is I might end up dropping Hydrosphere just so I can put in Life Tap support and see if that works. I don't know if that works because I think you have to manually cast the skill. If it does, then awesome, I have permanent Life Tap. However, as of now, this is how I'm casting basically all my one curse, which is Sniper's Mark, Berserk, Blood Rage, Hydrosphere. And as I've said before, Hydrosphere is really, really good for any kind of ice shot single target. However, I am using a Doomfletch, and Doomfletch is not a good bow for ice shot. <laughs> not, I don't know if it ever was, but it's, it's just not. Um, that being said, you don't have to, like, you can just ignore most of the mods on this. Hardly any of them do anything for me aside from the res, the one all res mod and the life. The minus 15 is kind of okay, but I have so much mana leech that it doesn't matter. So, without further ado, I, this is uh, Chaos Rain here. I am showing you a build update with my self chill, self curse, permanent berserk uptime I, uh, tornado shot. Raider. Until I figure out things a little bit more, this is uh, this is going to be the kind not stopping point per se, but just a point where I'm going to be comfortable with just kind of handling my mapping for for you know doing some quick tests, and of course as I think of other things or as I get recommendations or anything like that, I will definitely be glad to incorporate them into my build. Now, I will say that I don't like copying people's builds, but I don't mind borrowing ideas. So if you really want to, you know, recommend something to me, please feel free to. I'm not going to say no to any kind of any kind of help or any kind of assistance when it comes to that. But I won't be copying builds. I like to build my own builds and I really just that's just all the fun in it for me is to build my own builds and enjoy the game the way I want to enjoy it. Well, thank you for joining me here on my build update guide for self-chill, self-chill, self-curse, permanent berserk, super zoom zoom, uh, tornado shot raider. And I hope that, you know, you can take something from this video and maybe make your own build. Now, one last thing, I don't play a lot of melee. I am fully aware that this would be just astronomical on a cyclone character. I have a weapon and I'm willing to spend my time and maybe put on a replica ferals for for some uh, frenzy and power charge or, or sorry frenzy and endurance charge um, sustain 
and you know just sit there with uh with a crazy weapon on cyclone and see how i like see how you know people like that obviously i wouldn't take the bow nodes i have and i'd be able to you know be tweaking around a little bit on my on my uh gym links but it's uh it's hard to hard to pass up the, an opportunity that will basically say hey uh you're running all of this ability to go faster and become big and, and juicy without even running a headhunter and on a budget no less so if someone wants to take it a melee route or if you want to see me take it a melee route please let me know i will be glad to uh take it any other route that you choose um i'm not too familiar with melee so i might have very wonky gyms <laughs> But I have all the gyms, so it's it's whatever. Thanks for joining me. Peace.